If you're an Apple fan like myself, in today's world, you know the newer machines are getting harder and harder to repair, and Apple's intentionally doing this so that you can only go to them if you have a problem. If you do have a problem, the best thing you can do is purchase Apple Care upon receiving your new machine. Now, Apple wasn't always that way. They used to actually make their computers upgradable, change the RAM, change the hard drive, like this iBook right over here. They also used to include, if you purchase the Apple Care, these discs. This is a stack of Apple Care Protection Plan CDs with Tech Tool Deluxe on it. What I thought we'd do today is we'll take out one of the discs, put it in the machine, boot it up, and see what it's like. So let's take a look. All right, so I've put the disc into the iBook, so I'm gonna press the power button, hold down C to boot up the disc. And we should be booting into the disc right now. Apple logo, it should be working fine. And here we go. So we are booted to an operating system it's not one that I've normally seen ever before. And here we have Tech Tool Deluxe. So here we go, language selection. I think I'm gonna use English for this one. Now if we click on it, let's see what opens up. So, what we have here are tests for the different parts of the computer. So we have processor, RAM, video RAM, and here is my hard drive, a very small original hard drive. If we go to the top here, what we see, so about services. And to quit, we click about. It's from Micromat Incorporated in 2003. This is version 3.0.3. If we go to control, so it's just start, enable all tests, disable all tests, and change the volumes. So let's just run it on my uh, OS9 drive. Oh, and there are options here at the bottom. If I can click on it. Oh, there we go. So here are the different tests. So depending, I guess, what is wrong with your computer, you could do tests on your process, your RAM, your video RAM, USB, uh, diagnostics, format check, re-zero unit. I'm assuming that's uh, wiping the drive. Surface scan of the hard drive, random read, random write. Uh, seek, buffer, volume, all that. So let's just do a quick test. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. And we'll click start. And there we go. So it is, I'm assuming, checking the volume right now. Oh, it is running through a RAM test. So the processor has passed the test. I'm not going to sit here through all of this. This would take a very long time. So let's skip the RAM test. And it's going to check the VRAM. Okay, VRAM's fine. Check the USB drive. The USBs, I should say. Diagnostics. Formatting, skip the surface scan, random read, random write. Very interesting. It's amazing to think that Apple would have given the average user this disk so that they would not come in and actually have to repair their computer with Apple. And so far, it looks like 
Everything is passed on this machine, which I'm not really surprised. Let's just skip this. No, oh, it's done. And that looks to be about it. So I've skipped a couple of tests. And there we go. So it provides me with my own report on what I've done. So we can scan through it. Talks about the different tests that were done. And there we go. And I believe that's about it. Very interesting. Now I'm glad I picked this up because this is a great way of just checking out your old Macs or Macs that could run this program, I would say. So if you guys find a copy and you're an Apple collector, definitely keep it in your collection. Now, this also brings up a lot of questions. On the disc, Tech Tool Deluxe, it says it's from Micromat. So, did Apple essentially modify one of their OS's to boot into this Tech Tool Deluxe? Did Apple eventually just purchase them? Is this essentially the same company that they use when they do their diagnostics if you go into an Apple store? As I have a lot of questions. If any of you guys who are watching this video know anything about Tech Tool Deluxe and what happens after this, please leave a comment below and, and, and I'd, love to, I'd love to find out what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.